Walker and Walker up the field and we've away since 2007. Yeah, it's been almost two calendar years since we've been in this situation, you know, 22 months or whatever the time frame is. Uh, you know, we all wish this could have gone on for infinity, but it wasn't the case. Uh, we're going through some growing pains right now as a team. Uh, that's evident, and we're still figuring out uh, who we are in a lot of ways. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm proud as could be is this, of this football team for hanging in there and finding a way to have a chance to win at the end. They made the play, we didn't. But the guts and toughness that our guys uh, demonstrated to hang in there and uh, continue to fight, uh, I'm very proud of them. Right at the end, did you almost think they'd find some way to I thought yeah. I was. I was sure we'd find a way to win. Uh, you know, it wasn't to be. It wasn't, wasn't our day. And credit to Oregon. Oregon played well. Uh, they ran the football well on offense. Uh, they did a good job on defense. And uh, special teams, the old, you know, punt return to open the game was, was uh, you know, not good. Not good coverage and a great play by Oregon. Talk about Terrence's play. You know, I have to evaluate the film. You know, obviously we threw a couple interceptions. Um, but uh, I don't want to make any statements until I have a chance to see the film and see see why he made the decisions he made. And, and uh, I haven't even seen his numbers for the game yet. So, uh, you know, I know that uh, we're still a work in progress, as is Terrence. Do you think the uh, pass would be overruled? Quick, you would have had it down the three-yard line in the first half, and, and they, re they did the replay. And Say that again. It's the completion to Brooks. Apparently, a sliding catch. It's a three, uh -huh. but they overturned it. I mean, how did you see that? Oh, I didn't get a good look at it. I was watching the protection, so I didn't see the the, uh, the point of the catch. But apparently, they had a great look at that. Coach, can you talk a little bit about Oregon speed? Look like for the first time, you guys were kind of matched speed wise. With They're a fast football team. Yeah. They're very athletic. Um, they're, you know, their front four on defense is a big physical unit, and the secondary can run. And they, you know, like I've said all week long, exactly what you'd expect from a, a upper level Pac-10 team. That's what they. I believe that's what they are. Did you feel like this is the first time you guys were kind of didn't have that speed advantage in a while? Probably you had to so. Alabama. Yeah, yeah, it was neutralized yeah. to, to a great extent. But, uh, you know, we got a lot of football ahead of us. we got nine games left. Uh, first and foremost goal every year is win the Mountain West Conference Championship. It's done nothing to derail that. But we certainly got a lot of things to work on and a lot of, a lot of areas to uh, improve. Your, your run defense wasn't it spotty, yeah. very spotty. You know, at times we were stout, at times they were creasing us. Uh, we got to become more consistent. Then you know, the back had a, a nice day, 100 and something yards, uh, and so that was uh, you know, something that again showed up again, showed up at Utah State, and showed up again tonight in this afternoon. Are you doubting your sure at the moment? I mean, there's two games, two times you went well, when you were full goal range. You know, the fourth and two, it was still it was a two score game even if we hit the field goal. And so we thought there we had some momentum. You know, in hindsight, maybe you kicked the field goal, but uh, I, you know, I thought we were going to punch it in there, obviously, or wouldn't call it the play. Do you guys feel like there's any sort of weight lifted off your shoulders, not having to carry around the wind streak? No, no, because we really didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it, to tell you the truth, a negative effect on us. Until that last drive of the first half, you'd had seven three and outs in a row. What was going yeah, through your mind? Yeah, we, got, we weren't, uh, weren't uh, we didn't have much production going on. Um, and again, you know, we got to just keep drilling it, keep working it. And, and Terrence has got to keep getting better. The play calling has got to keep getting better. And everything's got to keep. It's not on the players. It's not. It's not any one thing. We just got a lot of stuff to, to continue to improve upon. How much was that Oregon's defense? How much of that was just you? A lot of Oregon's defense. They played well. You know, it was a. They, uh, you know, they good good plan. They they brought pressure uh, at opportune times and and landed it. You know, the sack in the first half, and we were you know trying to get in field goal range. Uh, they dropped eight quite often. Did a nice job with their drop eight package and rushing three. So I thought they had a good plan going in. Matt played the whole game. Asiata, uh, how's he feeling? How is he feeling coming in? Well, probably going to tell you better tomorrow. You know, right now he's you know he he got through the game. Uh, certainly didn't get the amount of carries that he's got in the first couple weeks, but. But uh, hopefully, you know, if he feels good tomorrow, we'll be over that hump and it'll be good to go for, uh, for Louisville on Saturday. Robert Johnson almost almost won it for you by himself. Robert Johnson, you know, he's a playmaker and, uh, you know, he's, he's one of the best safeties in the conference and, and that's what he's been doing for us for three years now. we got all the players here. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you.